Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're going to learn about integration with the power rule. We're going to evaluate each indefinite interval. So, if I was given this equation, or this integral, an integral of 15 over x to the fourth plus 8 over x to the fifth dx. Okay? Well, what I want to do is, well, what I like to do personally, okay, I like to rewrite this, okay, and I'll do it right here, so it's kind of, it's kind of on the side, but it's okay. Rewrite this, okay, to have our exponents be, well, in the numerator, but they're going to be negative. So we have 15, I don't think the interval, I don't forget that one. Brace this here, so the interval of 15 x to the negative fourth power plus 8 x to the negative fifth power, right? Bring that back up, up there, then dx. Okay? And I like that easier when I'm dealing with power rule. It makes it a little uh, easier to solve. Okay? So, now let's take that integral. So here we're going to take the integral. Well, keep the constant out front, 15. And now we take the exponent and we add 1 to it. So negative 4 plus 1 is a negative 3. And we divide by that exponent, negative 3 right there. Plus here, well, 8x, add the exponent by 1, so we have a negative 4 now, all right, and divide by that negative 4 as well, and plus c. So now from there, we need to simplify. 15 divided by negative 3 is a negative 5, so we have a negative 5 out here. And then we can bring the exponent back to the denominator, x to the positive third power. Same thing here with the 8. 8 divided by negative 4 is a negative 2, so we have minus 2 here, right? Minus 2. But then, that exponent we put back in the denominator, x to the positive fourth power, and then we have a plus c. So again, our final answer here is just negative 5 x to the, uh, over x to the third power, minus 2 over x to the fourth power, plus c. So let's recap. We're given the integral of 15 over x to the fourth plus 8 over x to the fifth. I rewrote that, or dx, and then rewrote that to have my exponents be negative and put them in the numerator. Okay? From there, I use my power rule. I added the exponent by 1, so negative 4 plus 1 is negative 3, and divide by that negative 3. Negative 5 plus 1 is negative 4, and divide by negative 4. Don't forget that again, that plus c. From there, simplify. 15 divided by negative 3 is a negative 5. Brought the exponent down, negative 3 down there. 8 divided by negative 2, uh, 4 is negative 2. Negative 2 right there, and brought the x to the fourth in the number. So again, our final answer is just negative 5 over x to the third minus 2 over x to the fourth plus c.